long, but I don't want to come down. Could have been a long free fall, you got me off of the ground. Sway for a minute, play both side to side. Hello. I know. You guys are probably like, is she ever gonna not be wearing that white sweatshirt and blue pajama pants? And the answer is no. No, I never will never not be wearing this. <laughs> but hello, welcome to another video. Now it's February 10th. I did just get back from a four day vacation in New York. Um, it was a wonderful time. I had never been there before and it was honestly amazing, incredible. Everything that everyone says about New York, it was. It was also below any temperature I have ever felt in my entire life. We did leave for New York during Texas's Dalaska little moment you know sometimes once a year dallas forgets that it's texas and decides to snow and freeze over luckily the roads decided to defrost just in time for us to be able to make our flight that was at 6 30 in the morning without any hitches so that was wonderful we had an amazing time i went with my mom and it was honestly so fun it was a last minute trip we hadn't planned to go to new york it was the coldest on friday and saturday it got down to five degrees degrees on Friday and seven degrees on Saturday so <laughs> I was woefully underprepared Friday we did some shopping on Fifth Avenue and then I met up with an old high school friend and we had dinner with her at Carmine's it was amazing it's a lot of food so beware and then on Saturday we slept in a little bit because it was really cold it was still like in the single digits by the time we woke up and I was like I'm just not going out I'm not going out on that I'm just not and we had a matinee show at two o'clock to go see a Broadway show I think it was Broadway or maybe it was off Broadway I don't know it was a new show with Common and it was called Between Riverside and Crazy and it was amazing I loved it unfortunately I did not pack my glasses with me so seeing it was a little blurry but I had an amazing time nonetheless and then after we did that I finally got to go see Times Square which was beautiful amazing wonderful had a great time saw my first rat uh, I take it back I did see rats at school but like I saw a rat in New York but it was dead and it was run ran over a couple of times so it really counted as a rat in New York because it was dead but I did see it in the middle of the street it did catch my eye um and I am thankful that's the only one that I did see um other than that I truly didn't see any other bugs so that's because I was on a certain type certain part I was in Midtown the entire time I was in Midtown and Uptown the majority of our trip so I understand that it's much different in different parts of New York and I'm very happy that I didn't have to experience that New York experience but that being said um, we did do Times Square did a little bit more shopping and then we had Joe's Pizza which was actually very good 
and then we got back to the hotel defrost it and it was only seven o'clock and i was like mom it's too early for us to call it a night so we went back out did some more shopping at urban outfitters got some stuff from muji and then we found magnolia bakery and we got the famous banana pudding and it was actually very good sunday was our jam-packed day we did a hop on hop off tour all across the entire island up and down so we saw all of tribeca not all of it but we did go through tribeca soho chinatown it was a really good time and then we went to the met which i was very excited and adamant to go to after we went to the Met, we jet set back down to Washington Square Park because they have the arch there. And if you don't know, I did was I was able to go to Barcelona this past summer and I had to take a picture at the arc that is in Barcelona. So it's now my life's mission to take a picture at every single arc that there, there is in the world. There are three arcs that look eerily similar to each other. I don't know if that's on purpose, but there's one in Barcelona called the Arc de Triomphe. There's one in New York called Washington Square Arch, and there's one in Paris called the Champs de Lise. And now I just need to go see the last one in Paris. We did go in to the New York Public Library. They had an exhibit called Treasures, which was incredibly cool. It was such a cool thing. They had like the original Winnie the Pooh stuffed animals in there. They had like the first printed Bible, and they just had so many cool things. They had Virginia Woolf's cane in there, Charles Dickens writing desk in there it was just really really cool and they had the bill of rights they had the handwritten note from benjamin franklin for like the original bill of rights i think there were so many cool things in there so i'm really glad that we went to the new york public library because i think that was just like a limited edition exhibit exhibit in there so i'm very glad that we went in there it was actually an incredible time i went around it twice because i went in there by myself the first time and then i convinced my mom to go in there the second time so i went around with her again after that it was time for us to skedaddle back to laguardia make our flight back home okay, that was a recap for the new york trip i think i probably interspersed some of those clips in here if i did go me now you probably know at this point if my hair is in braids it's because she needs to be washed my hair needs to be washed significantly like it's bad but i don't have time to do that because i have a valentine's day party that i'm going to tonight so i do need to figure out a way to make this look a little bit more manageable which means i need to shower so i have a couple more tasks that i need to do at work before we can you know start walking away a little bit but i need to send some more emails and then finish up some last minute tasks before the weekend tomorrow i do plan on braiding my hair like for real braiding it like with box braids yeah i just can't deal with this anymore i'm tired of like damaging it with heat and i also really don't want to mess with the natural curls i just don't feel like it i'm not in the mood i have a gym membership i want to go to the gym without having to worry about my hair and the only way i can do that is with braids so I had to pick my poison, choose my evil, and I'm choosing the braids. I feel like I've rambled quite enough now. Like, I didn't really ramble. I caught you guys up on where I am right now, but it has been 15 minutes, and I'm done with this. So, let's go to the next part. The party was originally supposed to start at 7, but because everyone is getting off work a little later than planned, it's been pushed about 7.38, so I have plenty of time now to get ready. I've just put on comfy clothes for now, and I'm going to do my makeup. I am not a makeup guru, okay? I truly am not good at it. I'm just watching the bachelor i did skip the first episode because i hate watching the introductions it's just so cringeworthy i can't do it if you're watching the bachelor let me know who is your favorite house guest girl contestant currently right now i don't know any of their names but hopefully by the time i read your comment i will yes my suitcase is still on the floor from returning from my trip four days ago if your suitcase isn't on the floor after a trip for at least a week bravo to you it's not me. I am moisturizing my face with a sampler that I got for my birthday from Sephora of the Tatcha. Dropped it. <laughs> The 
this is the final outfit I chose. I just have on a pair of black wide leg ripped jeans from mm, Target. And then I have this little heart top that I bought from Shein a very long time ago, so don't, don't shame. And then underneath, since it is still winter and a little cold, I do have this H&M faux leather fur jacket. But underneath, I have like a little blow. Underneath, I have a little bolero from Zara. So I don't hate it. I hope it looks nice. Um, the jewelry is from very random places. This necklace is backward. But this is from Francesca. So this is from a little boutique. These are from Target. H&M, I think. And my rings are also H&M. That's the finished fit. Shoes, I'm just gonna wear some gold platform Converse that I have. We're off. Oh, <laughs> wait, you have one too? Is this a thing? She's a She's a walker. Walker. Really? Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Hi Scotland's vlog. If anyone's wondering, I'm currently reading a novel obsession. Chapter six. It's a little thick, but it's kind of interesting. Next up is Daisy Jones and the Six. I just want to read it because of the show, but I just was never interested in the plot from reading from the back. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, handing her back. Hey guys, I'm Nadia Pat and truly the baddest bitch in the game if you haven't that. And that's that on that's that on oh this is clean. Okay. And that's that on that. If you wanna um, follow me, do so at Nadia Pat. And follow this channel, subscribe to this channel, like, comment, do everything so we can boost the algorithm, right? Right? That's the idea. Boost. No, I think it came yet in the box. Boost, 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 boost. Happy Galentine's. If you're single, say woo, 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 woo. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You're a photographer. Make a heart. Make a heart. <laughs> 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 It's days later, okay? <laughs> I'm still in bed, okay? It's Monday. It's Monday, February 13th. The last time I picked you up was definitely Friday. In an effort to not have this video or footage go to waste because it's actually quite cute and I would like to post it on the internet, we're just gonna extend it to a productive week in my life because I actually have quite a few things that I need to get done this week. 